Welcome, my name is Ian Cuneo from Ray White Real Estate. Today we've got a series of industry experts to put together some videos to assist you as a purchaser or a seller to understand the real estate jigsaw puzzle. Come with me, let's go and get some great ideas. Welcome, we're here today with Alex Wilson from Mopoke Images. Steve is out on a job, but thank you Alex for taking the time out of the day to do this video. Alex, could you tell us a little bit about Mopoke Images and how long have you been in the industry? Mopoke Images has been going for about two years now, but we've both been in the industry of real estate marketing for about six years. And uh, Mopoke is independent and local to Brisbane North Side, which we love. So working in this area is great, gives us an advantage because we know the demographic and we know the feel. And we're boutique, we do lovely photos and floor plans and we love our clients, they're local. Alex, when you're invited into a home, often there's what's called the lead photo or the money shot. It's something about the home that, that you feel is uh, the unique point of difference. How does Mopoke determine that lead photo? Yeah, that's, um, it's a bit of a trick question because it really just speaks to you. It, it's obvious when you see it, but you can't always describe what it is about the photo that makes it the winning shot. Usually um, you're after a communal area, you're after something that shows more than the real estate. It's something that really portrays the lifestyle and the potential of the property. And it's something that it will appeal to the person who wants to buy it and they'll see themselves living in there. And that, that's the lead shot. It's that one that stands out of being more than just real estate. Alex, you have a product that works really, really well with tenanted properties. Could you tell us a little bit more about that product? Yes, this, this is a new product and um, we've given it a cheeky name called Virtual Tenant Eviction. So it's fantastic when you get tenanted properties and your tenants are time poor or they're a little bit messy and you know, not conducive to having photos taken. What we can do is still go in and take the photos as is and then in post-production we can delete furniture and personal belongings of the tenants. And this is fantastic because it makes the vendors happy that their property is being shown as is without any potential distress distraction of the tenant's belongings and it's great for the tenant because it's less inconvenience for them. They don't have to get neat and tidy for us to come in. So it's, it's a nice way to get tenants on board with the process as well. And then it's great for us because we can take a technically perfect photo of a tenant and property but it might still look awful if the tenants are messy and that sort of thing and, and so from a selfish perspective we love that we can take the photo perfectly and have it look its best. These days floor plans are seen as a necessity item in the marketing of a home. Could you tell us your perspective around uh, floor plans in the real estate industry? Yeah, I absolutely agree with that. They are essential. And it's because they tell the whole story with the photographs. You have a whole story of the property. The photos are fantastic and you can see what it looks like, but it's only when you have them with the floor plan that you can really start picturing, oh, well, this is how I'd really live in the home. So I would flow out from this area and we could have a barbecue out here and then the guests would move into here. And if you've got a pool, oh, well, there's a downstairs bathroom that we can use for that and it's, it's easier access. You really, it's only with the floor plan and the photos that you get that whole picture of, of the whole property. And, um, you know, in terms of buyers, they want as much information as possible. And so giving them floor plans and photos gives them a whole story. The benefit there for a floor plan is you've got something there that you take away with you. So you don't have to be on site all the time once you've seen the property. You've got the floor plan there to say, well, maybe we could knock out this wall or we could do this, or actually where the fittings for the kitchen are great, we can just reconfigure and do cosmetic work. It gives you all those options to start thinking about your renovation and get a much more realistic idea of the scale of the renovation and the price before you've committed to buying the property or in consideration of buying the property. Alex, it's a competitive world these days in business. What would you say is Mopoke's point of difference as a, as a service provider in the real estate industry? Mopoke's point of difference is definitely per personal service and customer service, not just to our clients, but also to the vendors of the property. 
and we always make a point when we walk in there, it's the workplace for us and it's just another day at the office so to speak, but this is their home and they can be very emotional about the process. It's really important to put them at ease and to respect that you're in their home. So that's something we really pride ourselves on is, is to put the vendors at ease and make this as easy for them as possible. We often come in and just say, you know, you've done all the hard work, just sit back and relax and we'll take over. And yeah, just try and help them. This is just one small part of the process and if we can make that as easy for them as possible, then we think that's what it's all about. Alex, thanks for your time. I know you're busy. I hope the viewers got something out of this. I'm sure I did. Have a great day.